Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining today's update on COVID-19 in North Carolina. As of today, we have 339,194 cases, 2,419 new cases reported since yesterday, 1,601 people in the hospital, and sadly, 5,039 people who've died. We've passed the grim benchmark of losing more than 5,000 North Carolinians to COVID-19. We hold each of them in our memories. They will not be forgotten. This Thanksgiving week, our state and the country are reporting record high case numbers and hospitalizations. I have a stark warning for North Carolinians today. We are in danger. This is a pivotal moment in our fight against the coronavirus. Our actions now will determine the fate of many. Today, Dr. Mandy Cohen, our Secretary of the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, will give an update on our key trends and metrics. She'll also share an update on our county alert map. Unfortunately, the updates are dire. With our metrics worsening and the case counts at record levels, we updated the map earlier than we had planned so North Carolinians can see right now where things stand. This week, you'll see more, you'll see that 10 more counties have been designated as red, indicating critically high levels of community spread. We now have 20 red counties and 42 orange counties. This is deadly serious. We need communities and local governments all over the state, but especially in those red and orange hotspots, to work with us to enforce the strong safety rules we already have in place. With us today is Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn, who will speak about what the city is doing to enforce our statewide executive order with civil penalties when businesses risk public health. But right now, I'd like to ask Dr. Mandy Cohen to present to the today's data and the updated county map. Dr. Cohen. Thank you, Governor.